Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Hello. In today's video, I'd like to demonstrate how to use a tool available on our website for helping you create electronic checklist files for import into your Skyview system. Now, electronic checklists is a feature recently added in firmware version 14.0 for Skyview. Editing those uh, checklist files, creating them in any uh, text editor program is a relatively straightforward process, especially if you're a, a computer savvy person. However, even for those, the format of those checklist files is quite exacting and you'll find that using this tool we're offering makes the process simpler to follow and assures that the files you create will import into your Skyview system without errors. Starting here at the Dynon Avionics homepage, we need to m maneuver to our standard download page and you've, I'm sure you've used this before to download things like the aviation file updates and the firmware updates themselves. Here on the left side of the screen is the button labeled Database Updates, Software Updates. And I'm going to select that with my mouse now. Okay, here we're looking at the Downloads page. And of course, the first section on this page is dedicated to the Skyview system. And at the bottom of the Skyview system is the, the new entry for Electronic Checklists. There's three selectable items in this checklist section. The first is a text document. It's excerpted from the installation manual with uh, details on how to manually create these files in a text editor. The second item is a sample checklist file and template for creating your own checklist. But the video today focuses on this third link, which is an Excel-based checklist creation tool. This tool is created in Microsoft Excel. Uh, that program works on both Windows and Mac computers, but you do have to have Excel installed on your computer to use this tool. If you don't have Excel, of course, you'll have to revert to the manual process of using a text editor. So moving on, the first step is to click on this link, Excel-based checklist creator, and the file will stout start downloading. Depending on the browser you, you're using, you may have to look at uh, on your own hard drive to find out where that file is created. I'm using the Google Chrome browser today and the download file is available for me in this bottom bar and hovering my mouse over that download file I'll simply open it by clicking. Ah, Here's the tool. The left side of the screen is dedicated to the various checklist titles but to start with focus on the right side here's a text box with some written instructions on how to use this tool. The very first paragraph of instructions, I'll point out, refers to a yellow bar that may appear across the top of your Excel worksheet. This is an area that Excel uses to alert you on potential security issues. Now this bar is saying files from the internet can contain viruses. That's true, but we at Dynon have very carefully scrutinized this file and we're assuring you that you can safely download it. It is virus free. You need to acknowledge that by pressing this button labeled Enable Editing. And I'll click that now. Screen flashes for me, and then another yellow bar appears. This is a secondary security warning that may appear on your computer. It says macros have been disabled. In order to automate the various processes for saving the file in the proper format, we've written some macros which were, are just recorded scripts of uh, tasks to complete. And for this tool to work properly, it's necessary for you to acknowledge this alert as well. So again, we have to click on Enable Contents. Now that those yellow bars have disappeared, we're ready to carry on using this tool. So shifting your attention back to the left side, I want to focus on this list of checklist titles. In this list, you'll find a stack of 23 pale blue boxes each contains a checklist title that we've created in this template. Scrolling down, here's, here's the bottom of the list of 23 uh, checklist titles. Your job is to edit these titles to, to create the lists 
that you want in your own Skyview system. The items we've created here are just suggestions for you, but I'm going to show you how to edit that. So you can see this green box is selecting the cell for the very first checklist title. I'm going to type a new title in there for an item I want to be first in my Skyview system. And I'm going to call it Aircraft Walk Around. And once I'm done typing, I simply press the Enter key and it's saved my new title. And the process is the same for all of these. I would point out that these lists are in numeric order and the the computer will use this numeric order to assemble the import file in this, this sequence. So it's your task to create your titles here in the exact sequence you want them to appear in Skyview. You don't have the option of typing over these numeric sequence numbers. You have to manually create them in the proper sequence in this list. Now once we've done that, the next step is to create the individual line items for each checklist. To maneuver to that portion of the, the spreadsheet, we've created links here that will allow you to edit each individual checklist. So adjacent to the right of the first item I created called the Aircraft Walkaround, I'm going to click on the Edit link. The computer switches me to the next tab in this Excel worksheet. Here at the bottom you can see the tab is titled Lists. And up at the top you'll see that the first cell in the column under Aircraft Walkaround uh, that first cell is highlighted. I'll point out that this whole section is uh, colored in that same pale blue color. Again, that denotes the areas in which you can create your own entries. So I'm going to create a couple entries in this sample list. Let's call this first one. Uh, I like the first thing I like to do is turn on the master switch. There you go. I've typed master switch on and the cursor, uh, the, the cell highlight moves to the very next item in the list. What do I want to do next? Maybe we'll clean the windshield. And so on. Again, as I scroll down, you can see that you have the option of entering up to 50 individual items in this checklist. Now, once I'm done editing the aircraft walk around list, I might want to move to the next list in sequence. This one happens to be labeled before starting engine. I'll point out that you don't have the option of uh, changing the title here. If you highlight it and try and type over, you'll get an error message saying this is protected. You need to create the titles on the prior page. So I would proceed with editing this list by moving my cursor back to the first blue box and so on. If the list I want to edit is out of screen, I could simply scroll to the right on my screen, but a simpler method is to go back to this list in the upper left-hand corner labeled Titles. That's another link, and when I click on it, it returns me to the title page. And then this way I can more easily select the specific checklist that I want to edit. Now by way of example, I'm going to go back to the, sec uh, the third title in this list labeled Engine Start and I'm going to click the edit link to return me to that list. Uh, I'm doing this because I want to show you a special technique in formatting your list entries. Uh, previously I told you I f you'll find it useful to create your list titles in all caps. I find it equally useful to make sure that the individual items in the list are typed in normal capitalization, but notice I've also s uh, spaced over and so that my pilot action items are all vertically lined up and secondly I create the action items in all caps that's just a formatting tool I find as a personal preference you decide what works best for you but this is one example we're, we're giving you uh, to help you on your way uh, now I'm uh, let's assume we have created all the line items for uh, say all 23 lists we now need to find a way to save that file to do that, use this link to get back to the titles page. And returning to the instruction box, you may need to scroll down to see this depending on your screen format. But if we scroll down, something will jump into view and you see a giant save button down here. Uh, the 
text instructions tell you how to use this, but I think most of you will deduce that you simply need to click on this Save button with your mouse, and I'll do that now. And the standard s File Save As dialog opens up, and your only tasks here are to type in the name of your checklist, and I'm going to call that Checklist Number 1. And I also have to use the, the various windows up here to choose the destination for this file. I think you'll find it handiest if you have already inserted a USB stick into your computer and you choose to save this file directly on that USB stick. You're going to need the U to transport the file to Skyview on a USB stick. If you don't have it in your computer just now, save the file in whatever location you choose and you'll later have to move that file onto the USB stick. Now the rest of the process for importing this checklist file into your Skyview is well documented in the system installation manual. However, the process is essentially the same that you've already used, for example, for updating the aviation data file in your Skyview. You should be familiar with that process, but again, refer back to the uh, system installation guide and the pilot user guide for detailed instructions. And by the way, anytime you update the firmware in your Skyview system, which you would have needed to do to make use of checklists, you should also download the current electronic versions of both the installation and pilot user guides. So that wraps up this demonstration. I think you'll find that electronic checklists are, are a great addition to Skyview. Thanks for watching and tune back for more videos in the future. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.